Hello. So we're back Friday, yeah. And let's speak a little bit on my lunch break about tools, yeah. I've seen a lot of questions about tools and what tools I should buy, like as, as a beginner and... Now the first thing, yeah? Don't spend the money on expensive tools. You know, actually, <clears throat> it's because you'll get very disappointed. It's not much difference from a cheap uh, solar iron with an expensive one, or a hot air machine, or a multimeter, yeah? How many times, yeah, because I have, the, I have a chim, I, did, I don't even use this on screen, this is so bad, the multimeter on screen, I, I don't even use it, I have a bench multimeter, and always I use this one, it's a cheap one, it's, I can't say it's an expensive one, let me check on eBay, I don't even know what price is, so it's UTA01, because the first thing, is the multimeter, yeah? The first tool. Multimeter and after that the solar iron. These are very important. UTA01. So look here, yeah? It's... <laughs> you know, you, you can say this is an expensive one. Ah, oh, sorry. Sorry, it's my fault. Like 76 pound? So this is my multimeter which I'm working every day, yeah? It, I, I like because it's a bench one, I don't have to... have a space for the multimeter on my desk. So it's on one side of the desk and... Uh, it's perfect, I have no problem. Just think, if you see in my videos, how many times see me using a expensive multimeter? Like a Fluke. Do you think we don't have? Yes, we have! We have like two! Let me show you. Uh, look, it's here. Never use it. It's no point. It's no, absolutely no difference. Absolutely no difference. Yeah? Absolutely no one. But well, this is mad expensive. So, uh, no point spending. You, you can buy even this one. It's, it's too expensive. You can, you can find even cheaper. Like a decent one. Let me see a decent one. Look, even this is a decent one. Even something like with eight pound, this should be enough, you know. You don't need more. Fluke, a hundred eighty pound. That's mad expensive. So, something like that, like eight pound, or let's say something better. Look, thirteen pounds, big screen, everything. It's it's. What you can expect more, you know, for a, from a multimeter? Yeah? Okay, the next one. So we sorted up with the multimeter, no point spending money. The solar iron. It's a trick when you, when you buy a solar iron. When you buy a solar iron, first you go online and check for tips. You don't check for solar iron, you check the tips list. Yeah? That's what I did, that's why I bought my multimeter. Let me see if I can find the tips, my ones. Yeah, found them. So you check for tips, and when you find the tips, what you love to work, after that you buy the, the, the solder iron, yeah? So look here. That's how I choose my one. Because, you know, I'm, I'm working on phones, I'm working on laptops, so I have... I need small tips, big tips. Actually, I don't even use these big ones. I use only the small ones. This one. So actually, my tip, look on my tip. And I can bend it, you can see. So, let me show you under the microscope, you know what, let's, let's check under the microscope to understand exactly what, what it's all about. So, it's more helpful to have a tip like that, like this one, like my one. So, you see, it's quite a small one. It's not on focus. Yeah, that's my tip. Look at brand new tip, and I have a lot, and you know, it's, it's, it's like 50p each, or one pound each, something like that. So this is the small one, new one, and this is the bigger, the, the bigger one. But, hopefully you have an idea how small is this, yeah? 
very very you see me working on phones with this one you see me working on phones it's very very small i never use the big ones this one never use them only this uh, what model is if you believe me yeah it's no model number it's, it's i don't know it's some uh, some but let me let me try to find it so i have it from like three four years i fixed them one time on a video the transformer the fuse the thermi thermal fuse good good burn uh solar iron Let's check together let's check together so i have i have nothing to do with these people yeah i just try to explain what i'm using what i'm in the uh, and it's digital i have temperature control everything so let me try to find my one my one let me try to find my one my my uh, solar iron Probably you can find it on uh, uh, AliExpress for half price. So just do some research. No, not this one. But that's how I choose the solar iron. First, I search for tips. And after that, I bought uh, the solar iron. Should be somewhere here because it's very popular. This is my other one. I have one more, but I'm not very happy with this. Let's try to find it. Okay, it's a long list. Solar Iron Station. That's my one. You see? That's my one. This is my uh, my my solar iron and has I don't know no name. <laughs> but don't buy it. Don't don't buy it from here. Buy it from whatever you find it cheaper. I'm sure it's more on eBay. It's not only this one. I don't know, but try to check online. Go and uh, buy from China. Probably you'll buy for half price. Forty pound, thirty-eight, thirty-nine pound here. We can find it cheaper. So that's what I'm using. No point buying a more expensive one. It, it's why I should do that. You know. It, it's doing the same thing. I'm not even using this on max temperature. So max temperature is like 450 degrees. I'm using like 390. Yeah, I'm keeping it always on 390, and that's all. And if I need more heat, I hold the solar iron with the hot air. Yeah, no point. Really, no point. Flux. Yeah, I'm using the colophonium. I think we can find it on eBay. Let's see. Rosin. Rosin flux. Look here, exactly this. So this is exactly what I'm using. 1.9 pound. Yeah. 1.6. So this one, this probably is enough for like one year. If you do liquid flux, you'll find a link on the description how you do the liquid flux. You mix the this, you smash this. This is solid, which is very nice. And if you solder and don't clean, actually this is a very good isolator. So if you work on a like high voltage area and you leave this, it's even better. And uh, I'm using isopropylic alcohol. Yeah, depends of the country. How possible to have different different name? So you mix this with this, and you have flux from one like this. You make flux for like two three years. Yeah. And the flux, I'm using this kind of, uh, I'm using my bottles, flux, yeah, you put on the bottles and you can use it very long time, there's really no point spending money for something else.
I'm so disappointed. I I bought like okay, this one was good. Antec. This you know I have a friend. He's from Lithuania, uh, Lorin. He gave me this and he said you can test it. And I tested. It. Uh, it's okay. You no, know, it's fine. I paid one pound. From where? From China. Okay, well, that's good. But I bought another one, twenty-five pound. This one. This is is a hundred times worse compared with one pound one. Yes, yeah, so if you want a liquid flux, I don't know. I, I'm using this. This. I, this. I can't really use this on phones because of the color. So when you work on phones, you have everything to be cleared up so you can see exactly what you are doing. I'm using on phones sometimes when I'm sure for on what I'm doing. So I replace something. But when I search for things, uh, I don't use this. I use this. This, but this is where this is. I can't even see. If, if you seen the video with the the last few videos with the iPhones, I'm using this and and, it, and it's like uh, it's cloudy. You can't see. This is worse. This is worse compared with one pound from China. This Amtec, which is probably is fake. Anyway, I, I bought so many. I don't. I, I, I don't. I don't even think I try. I, I tried the real Amtec. So I think I, I didn't met yet the real Amtec. So I suppose you know one pound better than twenty five. Next one, yeah. So this is this is fantastic, Rossi. And uh, as many people, uh, not many people, some people write, you know, this is corrosive and you have to clean it. No, it's a very good isolator when it's like that. Yeah, when it's hard, it's very good isolator. What more tools? Hot air, hot air. Same. Don't spend the money. Don't spend the money. Just buy a cheap one. I'll explain which is the difference. My one, I'm very happy with my one. My one was an expensive one, but. Why we bought an expensive one? Not because we need a expensive, have more features. No, because we we bought so many cheap ones. Like if you go on eBay and buy 30, 40 pounds hot air, if you work every day, like in two, three, four months, it will get burned. So we bought so many. On some point, you said, you know what? Just let's 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 let's, let's buy a better one. Not because, I don't know, this is more precise. Maybe it's more precise, but I don't even care. When I'm working on phones, I always go low. I go low, I go like 360. And if I need more heat, I just switch for more heat. Simple, it's more safe like that. So you can't say, okay, I bought a cheap one, and the cheap one actually, when it's 350, actually it's 370. Just use lower temperature. And if you need more, you switch for more. So simple, yeah. Try to. It's better to put the money on 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 a different thing, you know, on your skill. Try to exercise more, especially with soldering, yeah. Tools, more tools. I have the power supply. Power supply always analog. Stay away from digital. Stay away from uh, for uh, from um, you know the one which you you can make them from uh, a computer power supply. Stay away. This buy an analog power supply, yeah, analog, linear, uh, linear. Sorry, sorry, not analog. Linear power supply. My fault. Linear, yeah, not switching. Stay away from switching. Linear. I know what what, what I'm, I'm I'm saying, but just go for linear, yeah, not switching. Switching is good if I want to. Okay, I will use this uh, power supply to supply power to my, uh, I don't know, audio amplifier, I don't know, I have no idea. But when you do things, yeah, and here is, it's a trick, it's a trick. When you do things like what we are doing here, like searching for a short, yeah, or supplying power to a, I don't know, like we, we, what we normally we are doing here. You can't do with a switchy power supply. You can't do even with a linear power supply. So a linear power supply, if you buy one, short and has a protection. And you can't supply power. So if you have like a, a, a situation, you have to come with the power and put some amps there, yeah? Like like me, short this, look on the, on the power supply. So we have three amps and zero volts because it's zero resistance. 
but I can do it. You know why? Because on the linear power supply, on the output you have some big white resistors. Yeah, that that resistor are uh, are the the current resistors. Yeah, actually the electronics of the power supply is reading the voltage on that resistor so the power supply knows when it's short so the power supply will cut down the power so it's a trick you can open any linear power supply short that resistors and you have power all the time but obviously you have no protection so it happened like we forget the wires like that yeah touching and we found out oh something is smoking it's kind of dangerous it's better to use like a switch to short that resistor and just use the power supply without protection only what when you need it yeah but you can't do something like that you know, on a switching power supply no you can't do it no on a linear yeah a linear it's it's very forgivable yeah it will forgive you all for a lot of mistakes what do you need next what do you need more Microscope. My, many people ask you about my microscope. My microscope, I will search on Google. Well, you know, I'm happy with my microscope. But I can't say, you know, it's like, wow. There's nothing wow. GXMXTL3T. Then it's coming nothing. But I bought this microscope, yeah? I got the microscope from these people Cambridge optics maybe now they have different models you can have a look if you are uh, on uh, UK but otherwise just buy one near to you the microscope was proper expensive was around 800 pound because you know, ours is with camera so we can uh, record but anyway where can we find microscope here microscopes yeah are different models so you can have a look if you really want probably they don't have the same one but they have different models models probably newer one 10 to 40 this this, this is is fair I think my one it's it's, it's uh, 7 to 35. This is cheap. Same uh, starting with JX, but different model, yeah. Now, depends of, of your age. You know, if you are young, probably you don't need microscope. But otherwise, if I'll be, I'll be to go, uh, if I'll be to go back and work without the microscope, probably I can't do it. No, no way. It's so helpful the microscope especially on phones so uh, yeah that's, that's my tools I don't know if I can show you something more but important important is the you know multimeter solder iron and uh, power supply and hot air if you work uh, yeah even the hot air these four things let's say these four things are important but don't put too much money there because you'll you'll get disappointed it will give you zero advantage nothing yeah it just okay so that's all it was just a short video about the tools hmm? that's all yeah the other things the tools yeah you can uh, like twister and screwdrivers I don't know about that I'm still trying to find a good brand someone uh, uh, someone sent me if you send me yeah they sent me this uh, Vera this was quite good quite good I should buy another one yeah thank you yeah, yeah it's fine thank you Okay, so I'll stop this video because it's Friday and two days off. And see you Monday.
Yeah, Monday. See you Monday. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. No? No. No, that's all. Yeah? I'll see you Monday, yeah? Bye. Wait, wait. I just come back. One more important thing, yeah? One more important thing. This is important. I got a lot of emails, and trust me, so many I can't even answer. The people trying to find help. The best place to find help is on our Discord server. Yeah, that's the best place. You know why? Because there are a lot of uh, a lot of good people sharing, yeah, sharing schematics, helping people. Let me switch. Desktop, yeah. Around six, seven thousand people on the on our Discord, so you can find schematics. You can find, uh, you see each category, phones, TVs, and everything, everything. Even you can advertise your uh, your YouTube channel, beginners area, data recovery. Check my YouTube channel. Yeah, people sharing. You know, sharing. It's it, it's it's a great thing. Yeah. Even schematics. Well, a lot, a lot of people looking for schematics, and you see people sharing schematics. Well, it's okay if you need help. Just come on Discord, cost nothing, yeah, and find here whatever you need, on, or ask for help. Maybe someone from so many people, it will help you, yeah. That's all. Now we'll all close. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. See you Monday. Bye.